All right, so for my woman in cinema, I did my thing on Margaret Booth, and uh, she was born on January 16th, 1898, which is a long time ago, in uh, Los, Los Angeles, California. She died October 28, 2002, also in Los Angeles, California. And, um, she's basically been alive for over a century, and that means she had the potential to have a lot of impact on the film industry. Uh, her brother, Elmer Booth, was the only other family member involved within the film industry. No one else in her family was. Um, she was hailed as a revolutionary film editor at the ripe age of 17. Margaret was involved in a multitude of both silent and partial audio films, such as The Way, they, the Way We Were, Annie, Mutiny on the Bounty, The Goodbye Girl, and several other more. Excuse me. Being referred to as a patcher or cutter, her job was to transition shots in silent film side by side. The first film she edited solely by herself, The Bridge of San Luis Rey, had a section of revolutionary technological breakthroughs. Um, one source said she adapted to many technological advances in filmmaking, notably the advent of talking pictures, which necessita necessitated the synchronization of images and sound. It's a big word. I'm quoting it. Um, she was the first person to incorporate sound into movies, basically. Um, she was good, as her, good at her job as a cutter, as she always tried to count as she cut to a rhythm. Uh, this is a quote from somebody. Uh, if I was cutting a march of soldiers or anything with a beat to it, and I wanted to change the angle, I would count one, two, three, four, five, six. I made the beat for myself. That's from Brumlow. 1968. Um, this rhythm is counting what made her such a good cutter and allowed her to be part of some of the best films at that time. She elevated films to new heights and became what more and more directors wanted and more and more directors wanted to work with her because of that. Uh, a really fun fact I found on her um, small kind of information on the internet is um, that the Village Voice, uh, American news and culture paper, known for being country's first alternative news weekly described her as the uh, final authority of every picture the studio made for 30 years uh, that studio being MGM and um, for contributions and awards I was shocked that I'd never truly heard of Margaret Booth and her cinema intertwined history some of the awards that she did one did win were the Academy Honorary Awards presented by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in 1978 she was also awarded the Woman in Film Crystal Award for paving the way for women to get involved in the entertainment industry. And finally, in 1990, she was honored with the American Cinema Editor's Career Award. Um, again, I was really shocked that like there wasn't much to find on her, even though she was such a big part of revolutionizing the film industry. I mean, to be the person that really kind of incorporates sound in the movies is huge, just from a technological standpoint, just historically, like... Nowadays, we know nothing but sound in movies, and silent film, silent anything is, like, unheard of. So the fact that she was the lady, or person in general, just to start it, it's really awesome. And I think in a time where women really had no role at that time era, and for especially her to be that well regarded and that many different male figureheads wanted to work with her, really speaks to, like, she truly was revolutionary, and she was really good at her job. So... That's all I got on her. I think she's a great person, and I'd love to learn more. Thank you.